does it look? Shoo! What's up guys? Gonna be tackling this triaxle behind me. We're gonna go through, give it a wash and a full polish job. So I wanna take you for a ride. Check it out. Pretty badass truck here. She's grimy though. We're gonna go through, give it a good wash. We're gonna sand it all down. Polish it up nice, I mean. It's in pretty good shape, but you can tell it's got some, some pits in it. And that lighting, it's definitely got a lot of surface scratching and it's really dirty. So we're gonna go through, probably do rotary sand on this, some six and 800. And then we're gonna go through our polishing process, get it real shined up. Gonna take it outside before, get it washed, get all this grime, get all these tires nice and clean, hit them with some light degreaser so the tires are nice and black when we're done. So, yeah, stay tuned. Soak in with some light degreaser. You don't want to go too heavy guys, there's no need for that. We just put, uh, we actually use super clean, but it's watered down like uh, 25, 75. Uh, makes it last a little longer and it's just, it works just as good. I mean, you can see the black just dripping onto the ground, getting all that shit off of there. Gonna run through, get this thing pressure washed down. Like I said, the, the truck's not in bad shape. I mean, to most people, that's that's pretty shiny. Um, but to us and the owner, right now, this looks like crap. So we're gonna go through, shine all the metal on this thing. It's gonna look badass. This is one badass triaxle, so. <laughs> So we got the truck all backed in. We're getting it wiped down and, and ready to get to work on it. It's pretty wet and the metal's still pretty cold. So we'll let it warm up in here, let it drip down. In the meantime, we'll start prepping some stuff. Uh, Chris has already taken the box covers off. He's over here. Wiping them down with some paper towels. We're gonna go through, probably sand the ends of these just cause they got some rock chips in them. We want to get this truck really nice for the customer. We're going to hit the step grates. He's going to be running the Zephyr Quick Cut Wheel with their brown tri tripoli. And um, then he's probably going to run over it with just a white untreated on the variable speed there with some max red. So those should come out nice and I'm going to get to work on this. All right, so we're starting to run through. I'm on the passenger side of the truck. It's kind of dusty in here now. I got some of this sanding going. I'm gonna do an up and down pattern on this. There's still some green in the metal. You gotta get that green out if you want it to shine.
So I want to show you where we're at with a couple things on this. So this is just the cut. So you're going to have quite a few lines in it. Uh, we got to actually go over this. We actually are going to go over this three more times. This truck, uh, depending on when you do these big bodies, you could go around these things anywhere between five to 10 times if you added up all the sanding steps, all the buffing steps. It's just a lot of time and a lot of work. So that's why you don't see a ton of guys doing these. Obviously this is a little messy right now. It has actually really good clarity and shine. Um, in my other videos I talked about LED lighting and having direct light on something like this is of course going to show every imperfection you can possibly see which is a great tip to have so when you actually pull something outside it looks proper so yeah that's some of the cutting we had Chris working on the tailgate Let's see. he's got this is uh sanding you can see the natural there's two lines that run down this metal that's like the natural uh, these pieces are probably extruded and that's a natural line in the metal obviously this is the joint of the metal but these they're not going to come out no matter how much you sand that uh, so they'll always be in there he started cutting some of this out it's looking really good I was working on the other side here that's what it looks like after sanding it looks like a mess um, doing an up and down pattern on these side panels it just seemed to work a little better if you couldn't hear me in the last clip I don't know if you can see it maybe a little better let me jump up on this stool right at the edge where this stuff is lightly sanded you can still see some of that grain in that metal you want to get all that grain out you want to keep your sandpaper nice and fresh. That's your sand. And then uh, that's first, you know, primary cut there. Then we got to do, I don't know if you guys are familiar with, we call it the coloring process in the industry, but it's really, uh, it's just kind of your final step. So that's what we started with. I mean, the, the camera almost makes it look a little better than it is. There's quite a few. doesn't pick up the hairline scratches from this thing getting washed. It's quite scratchy. So that is before. That is after, but just the cut. So we're going to keep working on this today. Go through a couple more steps. Get, get the rest of this body cut out. Chris was working on some of the step boxes yesterday, if you remember. He's got those looking real nice. Got all the grates done. That really can make a difference on a polished job if you got the grates all shined up. So we're gonna work on the body. I think Chris is gonna work on the tanks and the rest of the boxes. I'm gonna keep running through sanding and all right, so I want to show you out in the shop. It's going to be really loud. I'm going to try to talk into the mic, show you what everybody's got going on. I actually got three guys here today working on this dump truck. I'm going to be sanding and cutting. I got Chris cutting the tailgate. I got Meech doing some sanding. And then uh, Nick was working on a lot of the handwork. We, uh, we use the Pro 40 from Zephyr to do a lot of the hand polishing, stuff like the bumper, um, some of the stacks and stuff like that. So I'll show you what that's looking like. Here. 
really let them go. Still cutting this thing out. Just time. Just a time thing, guys. Really starting to come together now. Woo, baby. Let me over here finishing up some cotton. I don't know how good the camera picks that up, but... It is almost flawless. Really nice. Can't wait to get it outside. Unfortunately, it's raining or else I'd probably pull it out. Do a little check to make sure everything's looking good. You don't want to go too far on these and then realize your technique wasn't what you wanted it to be. So, but we're getting there. We're gonna keep rolling. Look at the floor. I had a couple people comment on my video saying you should sweep your floor. Well, this floor is just two days of grinding on this. And uh, I know we could sweep the floor every day, but we're busy. We're working on getting this job done. We will sweep the floor once this job is out the door. We, we reset the shop every time a job comes and goes. But, I mean, look at the layer on there. I don't know if you can... <laughs> Look right where the shovel was sitting. It protected a little spot there. But the floor is extremely dirty. And uh, we don't really pick up in, well, well, we're working on a job. So the shop does start to get a little messy, lead cords everywhere. You know, we kind of just set our stuff down from the day before. And then we get back to it. And then we'll, we'll reset once once this job is done. So we got a little more cutting to do up there, but most of this body is completely cut out. The tailgate actually is on like step number two or three or whatever you want to consider it. So that's in way better shape. These are not lines. Some people might look at this and say, look at all the lines in that gate. Jared left all them buff lines. That's actually the ribbing of the ceiling reflecting on the gate. So. It's not actual buff lines. And if anything, again, this LED lighting in here, this is gonna be the worst lighting you're gonna see this truck in. So once it's outside, it's gonna look way better than inside. So I was told a long time ago, I'd rather have the mechanic that's working on the truck see a buff line or two than the entire capital district. So that's, uh, that's my theory on that. I mean, everything we want to make it look the best we possibly can, or at least the best of our abilities. So we're going to take out all these lights down here. This is really beat up, scratched up from the loads coming out. We're going to take all that out, work on that today. We're going to finish up that cutting on the other side. I'm going to start running through with, uh, the secondary cutting process to get this thing starting to get it squared away. The next step, like right now, it's just a mess. There's cutting and buffing lines all over the place. I'm gonna start running through with the secondary to, to square up everything, get it looking right. Later on today, we're gonna put this body up in the air. Gonna do the mud flaps here. He's got really nice formed flaps. These are really nice. We're going to get these sanded once the body's up in the air. Get them all cut and sanded and polished. On the fronts of these, I never, I won't do it in my shop. I won't cut or color the fronts of these. The most we do on the front of a dump body is, you know, in here. The most we do, and this one's in really good shape, is we run a, an orbital polisher in there. It's just like a dual action vibrating polisher we'll run that and that'll look more than good enough throughout that nick has got most of the handwork done what i was talking about like all this stuff's in really good shape we run through with the pro 40 get it all cleaned up the mirrors air cleaners stacks we hit all that 
you know, I would never want to put a buffer to, to something like this. Just such a high chance for buff marks and you won't be able to hold it straight and mess it all up. Now somebody beforehand definitely put a grinder to these air cleaners. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but they got it all buff lined up and a lot of the rubbers are burnt. On some trucks, I will cut these rubbers out. This one, I got a little technique to fix some of this when you burn these straps, but somebody's already got these burned up pretty good and a lot of buff lines in them, them air cleaners. So we'll go through, fix that. Still got the grill to do. This one looks like it's got some chemical staining on it. Not a big deal. We'll get that all tuned up. And that's what it's looking like. I guess day, this is technically day three on this thing. <clears throat> the first day, you lose a lot of time just washing it and getting it dried down. But I guess this is day three. So we're gonna have this thing pretty close by the end of the day. Probably just one more day of going through and doing some final cutting and color, or final, the final coloring and polishing step. All right, keep rolling. All right, so I want to give you a little update. I cut out the grill, got that looking good. Got Meech up there, like I told you guys earlier. We do like an orbital hand polish up in the front of these. He's working that. Got the OSHA approved walking the plank. Me and Chris are working, yes, the inside and the outside of the fenders. And then pretty much what's left is uh, getting the body, the final steps, a couple more steps. Should be all So we're going to be laying down the final shine on this body, I'm working with our 3000 RPM grinder. It's a DeWalt, I got it turned down to about 2400 RPMs. Uh, it seems to be the magic number for me, still builds some heat, but doesn't, uh, doesn't get too hot I guess is the, the phrase. I got some Max Red Bar, got to definitely want to keep a rake real close when you're doing the coloring. And then I got some Pro 40. Uh, with a little lacquer thinner in it, keeps it a little wetter, um, that helps get these welds a little cleaner. And then I just got a wax applicator pad, it's already covered in uh, Pro 40, so that's why it's black. So we're going to run through, put some of this juice on there, and use a little bit of that Max Red and slowly go up this body. Uh, a lot of the final step or in any polishing is just technique. It's how you hold the grinder, it's how much pressure you put on. So we're gonna run through and do that now. <laughs> 